Okay guys, today we're gonna to do a small little video on rhubarb plants, what they are, how big they can get, and the three varieties that we're gonna be growing here on the homestead, so let's go. all right y'all welcome into the jungle so today we've got uh three different varieties of um rhubarb that we're going to be going over um and talking about the different varieties and how they uh, are grown what they're used for etc uh and some of this is just based off of what i know personally and the other is going to be based on what i can find on the internet now Many of you know that I hold the state record for a rhubarb, and currently that state record is 27 inches wide. Um, and the weight is one pound, 5.5 ounces, I believe is what it was, uh, that, that, the, uh, that it weighed. And so I set out after that to see what's the biggest rhubarb that's ever been grown. And surprisingly, I was I was shocked. I was shocked at what I found. So the biggest rhubarb leaf is 3.3 meters, which is 11 foot across. The leaf. Eleven foot across. And the weight was uh, of one of a stalk and, and a leaf was five pounds fourteen ounces. So almost six pounds guys that is that is crazy so then when i found that out i was like okay how did they get rhubarb that big because i'm thinking man you know this stuff is big what my daddy has grown is big i'll show you a picture of that right here some of you may have already seen the the video the short little 55 second video of me over at my dad's which i'm going to try to get back over there sometime very soon and measure those leaves and see if he's got a, a record or not a state record uh, because I'd be super uh, like super stoked if he you know ended up growing a state record uh, and like me being able to get him on a certificate and stuff, man, it'd just be phenomenal, uh, you know. Because I'm very proud of what my dad does and 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 uh, and stuff, you know. He, he don't even really try, and he ends up doing this stuff. So to me, that is phenomenal. Um, so we'll start with the first variety that we have here, uh, elephant ear rhubarb, and the elephant ear rhubarb. Uh, is what I grow. That's what I grow. That's what my dad grows. That's what's out there at the beginning of this video is elephant ear rhubarb. Now, this specific rhubarb plant right here, uh, I got these seeds um, from the neighbors. And what had happened was is they had a very, very, uh, well, let's start at the beginning. They've been growing this variety here in this community since the uh, 1800s. All right. And um, their family has, the neighbor's families. And so um, they had one that they had dug up from an old homestead, a family homestead, uh, that they had, had unfortunately had to get rid of. Uh, but they took the rhubarb, and they had gotten this one bulb or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it is, but it had gotten so big that they had to split it. And um, and once they split it, they uh, they had two sections of it, right? And so what they wanted to do is they... they, they had put it in a spot that they had forgotten all about it, and 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 uh, the 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 half that they had took, they were caring for the one that was where they had put it originally, and they had completely forgot about the other one that they had put on another part of the property, and when they found it, it had went to seed. 
Well, once rhubarb goes to seed, that's it. The rhubarb's done. You don't get no more rhubarb. It's it's toast. It's done. So you have to make sure that your rhubarb never goes to seed. You go out there, and anytime you see a seed thing popping up, you have to cut it off and make sure it doesn't go to seed. So the next year it'll come back, come back, come back, come back, and just get bigger, bigger, bigger. Well, they had forgotten about it. It went to seed, and that's how uh, I got seeds off of them. All right, and then I grew it, and we get seeds off of ours. We're gonna, you know, we're we're planting more now. Actually, we've got more of them planting. You see, one of them's come up here, and so what we'll do with those is we'll allow some of our stuff to go to seed this year, and we'll plant more rhubarb uh, this year. Uh, this summer, we'll plant more rhubarb, get it established for next year, but we'll let some of it go to seeds. So we have seeds to sell for you guys uh, that may want it. Now, I know for a fact that this elephant ear rhubarb that we got from them, that's what they call it, is an edible rhubarb. It tastes very good. It does very well. It makes good rhubarb pie, makes good rhubarb cake, makes good rhubarb jelly, and good blueberry rhubarb jelly, blackberry rhubarb jelly, watermelon rhubarb jelly, and as always, strawberry rhubarb jelly. And we're getting ready to do a video on how to make watermelon rhubarb jelly, and I can't wait for to post it. It'll be posted on the 11th of this month. So you guys be sure to go check that out, and be sure to go check out Jam It Up June, because we love Jam It Up June, hosted by Kettle Kitchen, uh, Tony over at Kettle Kitchen, and Blue at Blue Self Reliance. So go check out Jam It Up June, all right? So anyhow, um, with all that being said, I wanted to know what else I could grow, how big they could get. You know, can I get a, a big rhubarb? You know, so I set out and started looking and I came across two varieties from Brazil, South America. Uh, and uh, and these varieties are now I, I, I can't really pronounce it. All right. But this one right here is Gonorrhea Tinch Tink Tora Tink Tora, I think. Gonorrhea Tink Tora. And the other one is Gonorrhea uh, Manicotti is what it's called, all right? So, and I'll, I'll, I'll put pictures here of both varieties so you guys can see. Now, now, if I'm not mistaken, from what I can read, it is the Ganera Tictora that holds the world record for the leaf at 11 foot, all right? I believe that's the variety that holds the record for 11 foot. Both of them get ginormous leaves. I mean, just absolutely ginormous leaves, unbelievable sizes, and I was just like, wow. All right, so they, they, they do well, all right, for getting, but, but I don't know which one holds the record for the weight at five pounds, 14 ounces. And so, that being said, I set out and I bought both. And so here is the Ganera Tinctura seeds right here, all right, and uh, I can't wait, we're going to, we're going to, Plant these today, get them sown in the ground. Some will be for seed, some will be for growing. And then we have these that came yesterday, which are the Tinctora, or, or excuse me, the Ganera. These are the Ganera um, Manicotta, and they came crushed. As you can see, they're crushed all to pieces. You ain't getting nothing out of them. So we have to send these seeds back. New seeds will come, and we'll be planting those uh you know in the uh next few days but we won't be able to plant these today because i got to send these back to amazon because uh yeah these aren't but i looked and i made sure that the people i bought them off of was legit sellers and people were happy with the size of them and so uh so, so far it seems like we're on the right track here but i'm not paying what they want for a plant because what they want for one of these plants just a plant is absolutely ridiculous. Like, I can sell my plants here, just rhubarb plants, baby rhubarb plants, about that tall. I can sell them for 20 bucks. These big varieties that they're wanting, they're wanting a lot more than 20 bucks. And I'm just like, yeah, no. And the shipping and all that stuff, and the way shipping is, and they're not careful anymore at any of the places. It'd get here, it'd get all beat and banged up, and it wouldn't be any good. So it's just better to buy seeds. So, uh, like I say, and then trying to find the seeds is a little difficult as well. All right, it's just, it's just very, very difficult to find the right kind of seeds, all right? So, anyhow, we've got what we need here, and um, we're gonna grow them and see what uh, see what they turn out to be. So you guys stay tuned, all right? I don't think that we'll get a very big plant this year. I just don't believe we're gonna get the big leaf this year. It would be cool if we got a 30 or 40 inch leaf this year. That would be great. I don't think it's gonna happen, but we'll see. But what will be cool is next year, 
when my porch is covered by leaves that are six to eight to 11 foot wide and looks like a jungle out there, that is going to be absolutely amazing to me and I cannot wait. So guys, if you're looking for rhubarb seeds, all right, um, giant rhubarb seeds, uh, to grow giant rhubarb either for just growing and having fun or to eat, highly recommend and encourage you guys to search online and find stuff. If you're looking for this type, I have a few seeds left, not a lot, a few. And um, they're, they're $15 for the five, all right? Because this is a very, very old heirloom and um, you know, you're, 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 you're getting something that I know will grow a giant, all right? Uh, well, you know, 30 plus inch leaf, all right? So I know it will. These from Amazon, that's kind of a toss up, guys. We're gonna have to just see. All right, so anyhow, guys, we appreciate you watching. And as always, we'll see you next time right here in the Hollers and Hills of West Virginia. Don't forget to smash that like button. That notification bell. Don't get this Good job, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Thank you. Don't forget to share, yep. There you go. Good job. And, and subscribe. subscribe.